Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick announcement to so go ahead and follow me on patreon.com forward slash bow and arrow tarot to uh, be part of the draw for the Dreams of Gaio tarot deck giveaway. This is, deck is going to be given away on August 15th by a random drawer of all of my patrons over on Patreon. And all I ask for is just $1 a month donation from you all um, on that site to help me be able to... Um, Get more of these tarot decks and oracle decks and do more unboxings and reviews and giveaways. All right. Um, but for right now, thank you so much and on to the video. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing the weekly reading for August 11th to the 17th for the sign of Aquarius. All right. My lovely Aquariuses, thank you for stopping by. Um, we're going to get right into it. Pull out the Romance Angel Oracle messages for the week. And see what they have to say to you about your week, Aquarius. First out, we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And we have... Oops. And we have engagement. Beautiful. So, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with that one, right? Beautiful. So, let's get your animal spirits out. This is a, in addition to the format, um, pulling out your animal spirits uh, for the week. Now, this could be animal spirits that you are resonating with or that uh, resonate as descriptive of anyone you're dealing with this week. You know the people in your life okay so let's just see what kind of spirits our beautiful Aquarius are dealing with this week B B hasn't come out for a little while but the honeybee bumblebee is a regular appearance uh, from the animal Oracle deck then we have the cheetah fire energy the bee of course is air energy Fire energy for the cheetah. Beautiful. And then we have whale energy, which is earth energy. Also highly spiritual, right? A deep abiding uh, energy, right? Spirit energy. So before we get into your forecasts, let us take a look at these uh, three elements. So we have bee. The bee is beautiful. The bee buzzes around. This energy is just very uh, contagious. The bee is very supportive, enthusiastic, motivational, right? Uh, the bee is the one who is the great um, mediator, right? The great mediator is he, the one who can communicate between two groups that may not be speaking. The bee believes in socialism, democracy, you know, the, pe the people's voice, right? In a lot of ways, the bee is a lot like the Aquarius in that way. It's the bee is the great hum humanitarian spirit, right? And so being air elemental, I would say that this is one of the animal spirits that is more, most closely um, related to Aquarian energy. Then we have the cheetah, which is fire energy. And of course, the cheetah is very single-minded um, in terms of its ambition and its goal. You can see these concentric circles, right, uh, going around and around with this fire red behind, this orange fire red um, going into yellow, which shows how uh, the fieriness can, the pursuing your ambition can lead to enlightenment right yellow being the color of enlightenment or gold being the color of enlightenment um the cheetah can move very quickly can adjust very quickly right this is the great uh the great skill of the cheetah it's a very masculine force um but it's all about achievements right the cheetah is all about achievements it has this kind of solar energy this kind of solar fire behind it it will simply will not stop um, until it achieves what it desires. Um, the cheetah usually also, its achievements are usually very big, very grand, um, very hard to accomplish, right? They can be very amazing to look at from the outside in. Anybody who's embodying cheetah energy, people around them are just amazed at what they can accomplish, right? 
Um, and they attract, you know, you really attract an audience, you know. The cheetah is the one who works, walks into the room and everybody in some way is, is, is drawn to the cheetah's energy, to the cheetah's fieriness. Now we have the whale. The whale is water energy, of course, and the whale is, again, another ancient animal, an animal that is full of very deep wisdom, right? But the thing with the whale is this. The whale is this extremely strong spiritually, right? So whenever you're going through, like, traumatizing times, emotional times, times where you questions of the heart questions of the spirit when your spirit is almost down you know when you when you've been when life kind of beats you up the whale has that kind of strength to kind of carry you through right immense amount of spiritual strength right the other thing with the whale is the whales go very deep in the water don't they they can go all the way down to the ocean floor so what we're talking about is the ability to go very deep into emotions to really um Search your feelings and your emotions at the level where most of us are afraid to go. The deepest level. The whale is without, uh, with, without any question one of the most courageous in terms of spiritual achievement, right? Walking the spiritual path, uh, facing hardships. The whale is very strong and very confident. So anybody who comes into your life with whale energy, doing a period of trauma is going to be a great support for you. And more importantly, they're going to be a great support for you spiritually. All right? So let's get right into your spreads for the week. All right, my lovely Aquarius. I'm going to pull out about seven or eight forecasts. And hopefully one of them will resonate with what you are dealing with this week or your situation. So let's go. We have nine of swords, eight of major arcana, strength, Leo coming out. And we have seven, which is the hanged man, uh, excuse me, 12, which is the hanged man. All right. Uh, nine of swords. Of course, some of you are anxious, right? You're dealing with a lot of anxiety. Most recently about something. Um, it could be... Something to do with uh, an emotion, uh, with a relationship. Um, it could just be with your own kind of ambition, right? But I want to say that this may be to do with your relationship or with your relationship with friends, right? Whatever the case may be, you're, you're having a lot of sleepless nights. And um, part of what's going on is that you really need to temper yourself. So you're getting yourself wound up in a way, right? You're getting yourself worked up about something. Um, you're getting yourself worked up as far as your anxiety is concerned. You're having sleepless nights. Now, those things are not, the reason for it is not necessarily based in any reality in terms of nothing specifically may have happened uh, to make that, that you should be crying about, but you worry. And it could be that you're worrying because of past experiences, right? So some of you may be in relationships. You may be concerned about where this relationship is going. Um, and you're realizing that you're going to, ha you're realizing this week that you really have to temper yourself and temper your emotions because you're getting ahead of yourself. Um, then we have hanged man energy and it's quite interesting. It's almost as if you are afraid to even move or make a decision. I don't know why, but something is causing you a lot of concern. Um, and you don't want to make the wrong step. It could be that you have just recently, I want to say that it could be very much that you are, when we have honeymoon and engagement, right? We have very soon. Some of you may be uh, really wanting to take your relationship to the next level, right? Um, but you're concerned. You're concerned that if you say something, you may frighten this person away. Uh, that if you let them know you want to be more committed, then maybe, you know, they won't work out. And so this week, you're really battling with pride. You're really battling with self-esteem. Um, and ultimately, you end up kind of stuck right? You end up kind of not knowing which way to go. All right. Now I don't have an answer for you. I don't know how to get you out of that stuck place, but just being aware of the fact that what you're worrying about is not necessarily reality. Okay. You're getting yourself wound up about things that have not yet come to pass and you're kind of basing them on previous experiences, which we all do. However, Try not to let that freeze you. Try not to let that get you stuck in a space where you're afraid to make any forward movement and you'd rather just let it stay where it is. You know what I'm saying? 
It's the fear almost of the unknown. Four of Pentacles, star energy, and ten of wands. Again, Four of Pentacles has been coming out a lot. And so a lot of people are dealing with money issues. It could be dealing with worrying about uh, financial stability, basically, right? And you have a wish, you know, you have a wish to kind of come out of that. Now, some of you have been having financial issues because of the way you've been living your life, perhaps. Some of the crutches you've been leaning on, maybe some of the baggage you've been carrying around with this, with this Ten of Wands, right? But I think that this, re this week, right, you realize, somehow you realize that if you are to get your wish, right, your wish which is to be, which is not to have to worry about money, to be financially stable, etc., you're going to have to say goodbye to some of the way you've been living. And I think you would get an epiphany this week. Right now, this is for some of you, Aquarius. You get, um, and of course, Star is Aquarius energy. This is you, right? So, um, you know, some of you have a real epiphany this week. You have an awakening this week where you realize that, hang on a second, everything that I've been worrying about is because of the hang ups I've been carrying around with me, the baggage I've been carrying around with me. And you wake up to this and you find that you're ready to lay it down. You're ready. You're ready to lay down the baggage. You're ready to lay down the hang-ups that you've been carrying around. You're ready to lay down those ten swords, right? Uh, excuse me, those ten wands and start a new life. Start the life that you want to live, right? And this epiphany comes probably because you've been talking to someone or dealing with someone. It could be a bee energy in your life. It could be a cheater or will. Any one of these uh, animal spirits could come into your life and help you with this with this realization because all three of these animal spirits talk about realization and accomplishments in one way or another right so i think that certainly this comes out of a relationship or out of a meeting a conversation with someone very near and dear to your heart you have this epiphany and you're finally ready to say goodbye to part of your life that has been a great in great deal a reason why you have been perhaps struggling financially Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Moon. All right. Six of Cups. So some of you are in a relationship or starting a relationship or you most recently, I'm going to say you most recently did. Something really, really beautiful, right? Uh, something that is long-term and lasting and harmonious. And then, boom, something happened. You went through a... a, a some kind of power struggle, right? And you were the one that was cast out, isolated, uh, ostracized, alienated, okay? Um, and you're paying the price financially. And I think that this week, it's almost as if you're like, what the fuck happened, right? You have no idea what happened, right? You went from, you know, you went from a great, great harmonious situation to um, a, really a power struggle. And the reason why, something's been going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Somebody's either been saying things, talking, there's some, something has happened and you just don't know about it. It could be that maybe your partner found out about something that you did, maybe a long time ago even. Maybe it wasn't even something recent, but something has happened. And something's gone on in your relationship on an emotional level and you're not... You're not privy to that information, but you are privy to the result of it, which is a big argument that's leaving you kind of out in the cold this week, okay? So if you want to get to the bottom of this, you want to get back on track with your lover, you're going to have to figure out what's been going on behind the scenes to cause this, because this has certainly come out of the blue. So Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Ace of Swords. So some of you are working very, very hard on your craft, your profession, your career, you're realizing it's time to kind of like buckle down. You know, it's time to be a bit more disciplined with that eight of pentacles. Eight is the number for boundaries and discipline. Um, you realize that. And if you haven't realized it and doing it, you do realize it now and you begin to do that now and start to really focus on your work, right? And I, I, you also realize that as a result of that, this week, certain things become clear to you. You start to understand that it's time for you to take a step back and look at the situation as a whole before you make your next move, before you strategize. Something is going on in your life in terms of your desire uh, to achieve your goals, right? You're working hard, 
Okay, Eight of Pentacles certainly means that you're working hard, but there's something else going on that you need to figure out. Maybe it's a strategy of how to accomplish your goal. Uh, maybe you need to figure out, you know, what people to talk to, who to help, you know, who to invite in on your project, right? If it is a project, right? Or, or who to reach out to. Whatever the case may be, this week is all about you. You go to work, you work, you put your nose to the grindstone. And for the rest, you're very much kind of contemplating your next move the next stage and you also get some information coming in this week that helps you with all of this because this information is an ace of swords type of communique which is a victory communique it's a vindication it's that you know it's that bit of uh, it's the bit of information or knowledge that comes your way that kind of opens everything up it gives clarity you now understand which way to go right now you know which way to uh to move or you know which way to at least strategize your next step right and that all comes as a result of the information that you have coming in this week i want to say that this reading is very much for those of you who are on a, a career track nine of cups devil and six of swords so some of you have had a wish that just did not get fulfilled okay nine of cups talks about is wish fulfillment but also with all the nine cards we have inherent in all of the nine cards of the suits we have inherent a little bit of hermit energy which is isolation solitude being alone and again with the nine of cups you see this character he's generally pleased with himself with his arms crossed he has his nine cups representing all of his dreams and wishes that he has had fulfilled however right he's still alone you know and the ultimate wish the ultimate aim which is to come together with someone and to share your life with someone is still elusive to this individual right and so most recently something has come in uh you know into your life um and i want to say that it has it has caused you to move away from all of these cups. I want to say, for instance, an example is like, yes, this person has accomplished a lot of great things, but what is coming, this devil energy that's coming in, it's almost as a result of that. It's like the, you know, that kind of self-gratifying, instant gratification, you know, slave to your passions in a way. Because these wishes that are fulfilled with the nine of cups, these are these like, they're like, they're not deep wishes. You know, oh, I wish for a nice house. I wish for a nice car. They, those are shallow wishes, you know. I mean, it's great. Everybody, it's nice to have a new car and a nice house. You know, it's nothing wrong with that being your goal, right? But is that your goal for your life, to have a nice car or to have a nice house? I mean, for your entire life, you know what I mean? And so, you know, it's like, interestingly enough, uh, after getting all of this stuff accrued or these wishes fulfilled something happens along the line that takes you down a path that uh, could potentially uh, cause you to lose everything that you've gained right the path of addiction again self-gratification right uh, the path of you know, I, I, devil energy is highly creative it's Capricorn energy but it's creative as long as it's still connected to the spirit to the you know to the goal of the spirit to the soul that's that's how we create works of art but when it's disconnected from the soul of the spirit that's when we start to uh, that passion that energy starts to uh, be fulfilled with instant gratification it starts to be uh, fulfilled with um, drugs sex drinking you know you know the types of things that are easily uh, easily gotten in a way and they give you maybe a brief moment of satisfaction or gratification but that they don't last right um and so i think you wake up to that this week aquarius and you make a journey you decide to turn your back on it i think you decide some of you are going to decide to leave the life you've been living all together because this life that you've been living has slowly been leading you down this very negative track okay um it hasn't been exalting your creativity but in fact it has been dragging it down into the realm of being a slave to your passions right and that real negative energy that we associate with the devil and i think again this is a week of epiphanies for a lot of people i think you wake up to that this week aquarius and you make a conscientious decision to leave some of you may even be li leaving a, a living condition that for all intents and purposes from the outside looks perfect, but from behind closed doors is a nightmare and you finally 
decide to go. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. Okay, so a big opportunity comes in for some of you. And um, it's an opportunity to make money, to increase your progress, your career progress, right? Your status, your abundance. Um, but you're a changed person. It's interesting. This opportunity coming in, perhaps had this opportunity come in five years ago, you would have jumped all over it. But you're a changed person. You've recently ended a period of your life that was really full of a lot of ups and downs and hardships. And as a result of it, the person you are now is simply not the same person you were before. Okay? And so now you present with Queen of Wands energy. Right? Queen of Wands is very self-realized. And she's not Queen of Pentacles. So she's not that much caring about... Uh, the material side of life okay so I again I'm not sure if you take this opportunity but the offering of this opportunity and the fact that you don't take it readily and for some of you that you don't take it at all is almost like a wake-up for you that you have really fundamentally changed and once you realize this uh, and once you accept this kind of wake-up call you almost completely embody that change by going forward as Queen of Wands Okay, because Queen of Wands is total and utter self-transformation in a lot of ways, right? The Queen of Wands is, understands, you know, what it's like to go through the fire and to come out different. She hides it to a certain degree. She looks very kind of, you know, very nice with her sunflower and her gold robe. But honestly, the Queen of Wands is a brilliant, radiating, you know, incredible person, you know. Uh, I think of one of the Queen, the Queen from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, from the land of Loch Loren, uh, I forget the name off the top of my head now, but um, she's she, you know, when she touches the water and she becomes like silver and her, you know, it's that kind of thing. It's like if the Queen of Wands was really to show you who she was in all of her glory, she would, you know, you would you wouldn't be able to look on her because she would blaze so brightly. So this is why I talk about in terms of really embodying that, right? And you come to this understanding this week because you're faced with a situation that, like I said, the 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 old you would have jumped all over it, but the you the new you does not. All right, three of pentacles, eight of wands, and we have ten of pentacles, and this is going to be the last spread. All right, so three of pentacles. Some of you guys are working in projects with someone. You're working on your own career. Um, you've gotten to a point where people are certainly starting to recognize you for your skill, starting to come to you and request your skills, right? And it feels good. You know, you, you, you're starting to develop a, a, a loyal kind of following, as it were. So, you know, loyal customers. I'm gonna, three is the number for bonding, loyalty, right? Coming together, patience also. Okay, so you have exhibited a lot of patience in allowing your career to progress and to grow, maybe your business to progress and grow, but now you're starting to get that feedback that that's letting you know that you are indeed a master, people want to work with you, um, and it's just very good, you know, it's just very good kind of uh, reaffirmation. Now, as a result of that, this week you get a lot of incoming, all right, incoming eight of wands. A lot of people want your attention. They want your time. They want your, they want to give you their two cents. Eight of wands is a very chaotic amount of information that can come in. And again, with like with all the eights, it's about focus, discipline, boundaries, so that you can sift through all this information and glean from it what is really important to pay attention to, right? What is important, what is really important to focus on, right? Uh, especially in times of a lot of chaotic energy, you don't, you know, you don't just deal with everything that's coming in. It will be a waste of your energy. You have to pick and choose the most important bits, the most uh, significant messages or the most significant connections to work on, right? And so you realize this. You're feeling a little bit overwhelmed this week um, with this. And it could be as well. This could be, for instance, some of you may have a business and business takes off and it's like boom, 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 boom. You know, the emails come, the requests come. All of a sudden, it's just like you go viral. Eight of Wands is also the card for going viral, okay? So a lot of you uh, could be dealing with that, all right? But as a result, you figure it out, you know, you figure out how to deal with all of this information coming in, and you hit Ten of Pentacles. What is Ten of Pentacles? Abundance. You've hit it. You've made it. 
for some of you, this week is the week that you've made it, Aquarius, okay? You've been working very hard, perhaps in a field, a particular field, and then this week, it all comes in for you, right? And it's like, bang, I did it, I made it. Um, it could be if you're um, working in a field of entertainment, right? Um, this is the week maybe that your song hits, you know, the airwaves and goes viral, or this is the week that your video maybe goes viral, right? Um, whatever the case may be, you've been working very hard and had a lot of patience, but this is the week where you get a really nice amount of uh, fortune, abundance, reaffirmation. You're on to the next stage, okay? You're certainly on to the next stage of abundance coming in. All right, guys, this is your reading, Aquarius, for August 11th to the 14th. Your various scenarios and forecasts for the week, which I do hope you uh, some of you may resonate with. All right, if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. This is my usual spiel. All of that helps me grow my channel, folks. So, um, And for the rest, I'm just going to say, Aquarius, I love you. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.